hi guys welcome to my channel in this tutorial I will show you how to create bulk SMS sender for that to show you a sample let me tap on qpython3 icon and I'll tap on editor and then I will tap on the play icon and here it goes it asks me whether I want to put the mobile number manually or not in this case I will give no and it brings up a list of contact from my handset I'll select one of this and then it asks me whether I want to add more numbers or not I will say no and it asks me to type message I will type here hi and hit ok then my SMS is gone or sent from my handset guys I am Abraham in this tutorial I will show you from the start to the finish how to create a bulk SMS sender in Python for that guys you need to install QPython 3 app from Google Play Store and after installing you have to tap on QPython 3 and then you have to tap on editor and in since I have run earlier my code so my code is being displayed by default but I don't need this at this time I will tap on plus folder icon that is on the right side of my screen above I'll tap on that and I will select from the list of option blank file and then it gives me a blank file so we'll start making apps here by coding just wait for a minute okay now what I will do I will import a library here okay I'm just testing I'm using Bluetooth keyboard for this purpose to make it more this one uh, faster in coding so I will import import Android helper class okay and then we'll give a variable a which stands for Android and we will call from inside the library I mean from inside Android helper library we will call Android method this that is inside okay after that this is the bare bone I'll just create a bare bone for you uh, first of all uh, sorry uh, it should not be space name equals then underscore double underscore and we'll give main because this is our main function and then I'll give colon and I'll hit enter this is the bare bone of our program okay so I'll tap on done okay I don't know why this is always uh, coming up I'll tap on uh, what you call this uh, floppy icon and then I'll select here script folder and here I will save as bulk sms sender dot pi okay and hit on done done I don't know why it is coming always this okay 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 I have to see, I have to press on back and then it comes because I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard so I'm having some problem usually I type without Bluetooth but for this tutorial to make it faster I'm using Bluetooth uh, what you call a keyboard okay so now what we will do is that after being imported first of all we need to and the main we will create a what you call this uh, interface to pop up for that I will just click on that okay here we will type in we'll ask for what we want to type right what we want we want the system to ask in that case we will say manually put number manually 
put number okay yes manually we are asking whether we want to put manually or not the number if so in that case we have to create uh, another function here we will create a function here and we will write ask and I am putting it here what okay for that then here we will create what do you call this a dot dialog will uh, create ask for the dialog to come up create a lot right and then we'll put what because that is the thing we want to ask then we will we will set a button set positive button yeah will uh, we will set two two button here button text for that we have to type in and then here we will type yes and no right yes and another button we will set along with this and that is negative button negative button text which is will be no in this case okay and then we will show it and then we will show the interface to the user for that we are typing add or dialog so okay and then we will get the response whether we have will uh, get the response for whether we have select we have tap on yes or no button we have agreed or not in that case dialog get response should be type okay and then the result and inside result we will type in okay which means which button has been tapped this will and we will return the response okay so we are done with this now here we will put since we are asking for what here we will put if okay if ask what equals equals what it will be we are asking for positive which means if we have pressed if we have tapped on ok button that's why we are asking for if ask what what ok else we will put here else which means actually else means here uh, if uh, if if negative if what you call uh, if no button was pressed if no button was pressed okay and giving here comment now here we will go back again so we have pressed what positive button now what we will do after we have positive button we will do a while loop for that I'm typing in while true okay after doing while loop we will type in here a dot we will ask for another thing here and that will be I mean we will ask for input here since we suppose we have chosen uh, manually to put the number yes so we will we need an interface where a user can input his mobile number right so for that we need this interface to come up this interface i'm typing in a dot dialog get input 
and in this case the title will be empty and the message there what we want to tell the user is that type mobile number type mobile number okay after that we will get a response from here again for the result you can see it for that I'm giving variable rest a dot again dialog get response dot result okay now after getting the rest we will collect response for that uh, we will get two things here and one thing is the value which means what the, uh, the input and the other thing is the button yes or no okay yeah cancel okay or cancel in this case so now we will give condition to check now I'm typing if rest value which means the input what input has been given that is okay is alpha alpha means if it is an alphabet if the input is alphabet we are checking with what kind of input is it and what we are doing it Not, uh, and the button press what button is press if the button press is okay which means not cancel here what if the value if the input of the user is a alphabet and button is press okay then in this case we will trigger we can trigger two things here we can trigger uh, text to speech or we can trigger a uh, alert which means toast so in this case i will put a text to speech as an inter uh, so that it speaks loud and it can be here okay so for that you have to type in a dot tts pick and here inside i will write please enter mobile number only okay please enter mobile number only or you can write mobile number only mobile number allowed okay this is one checking okay now we will check and add, we have several checkings okay so in the second checking we will check whether the value is empty or not okay and then we'll check if it is empty and it is pressed okay button then what we will do it we'll handle that as well so for that i think it will be best if i can copy this oh yeah copy and then paste here paste so here equals empty sorry equals equals empty it should be right and for empty we we have not initialized empty okay so here we'll put the empty variable which means it will be empty equals empty yeah this is the one okay and now we'll handle with tts speak as well as here also a dot tts speak okay actually i could have create a function here 
by making mistake every time. Okay, the same thing. There is not much code here. No need to make. So here we will give enter a mobile number. Since it is empty, we are telling the user to enter. We'll just give a very polite please enter a mobile number right now second checking else if in this case in the third checking we will see whether the input is uh, the is 10 digit or not okay if it is not 10 digit which means if it is lesser than 10 digit or more than less or more than uh, 10 digit in that case and then if we press the ok button then we will tell the user to put 10 digit mobile number if land of rest what do you call it here value okay is what it will be smaller than 10 smaller than 10 and the same thing value is greater than 1 so we are checking whether if it is less than 10 digit but it is more than one digit which means something is there in the in the input i mean to say the user has given something input okay or len of the value Sorry, I made mistake. It should be where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Rest. Okay, here will be. So I better give it new one. If the greater than, if the value is greater than ten. And also, if button is pressed, okay, which means in this case we have to write positive. Okay, what we will do? Again, we have to call a TTS. TTS speak so we'll tell please enter 10 digit mobile number. We are telling the user to enter to enter 10 digit mobile number, right? Okay. After that, we will another put another checking, and in this case, if if the value if the value is a digit, okay. And also, if the value is ten digit, and also if the button 
what do you call ok is press in this case positive then what we will do we will add our mobile number I mean mobile number in the list so for that we have to create a function okay so to create function we have to go back to our here we'll go it here here we'll create for creating a function we have to do first of all give a variable number store we'll give name number store equals to list okay and here we'll create a function add number okay so how do we add number here we will type in if the store does not contain the value that we have to put okay in this case we'll put here okay where is it i'm going to find it very difficult here in that case number if it if the number we we are going to put does not contain in our list then what we'll do we'll append it will append inside this sorry okay i made mistake it should be append number right but if we have that we'll just return empty we will not put inside now we'll go to our last code where we will have here i'll give it enter tab okay so here we will add the mobile number sorry it should be like this i don't know why it often comes this thing and the number number which is the value okay now what we'll do is that <clears throat> another condition if the list I mean let's do like this if number store which means has something inside okay means if there is a number inside and also the value which means is empty and also we are checking button is pressed what button cancel button so for that we have to write which equals sorry okay okay i have given dot here equals what do you call it negative right should be negative then in that case what we'll do we will just break the loop break okay we break the loop means if the user doesn't need any further uh, what you call number to be entered we are doing this else so here I'll give a command 
if value is empty and pressed cancel okay so now if if we don't have any value and out and also if we have press cancel button then what we will say we'll give will trigger tts again text to speech and tell to the user that what we will tell we'll tell please enter mobile number because there is no mobile number okay and tell the user okay <coughs> Okay, we are done up to this. Or oh, and then where is it? Five, six. Now, after 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 canceling it, <coughs> now is the part for what you call SMS entry. Okay, for that we will come. We have broke the loop here, and we are coming here. Okay. Here we will put another input. I mean, we will ask for another. We will create an interface, telling the telling the user the number of mobile number or the number of person added in the list for sending bulk SMS. <coughs> you have a sorry. You have a list of okay. So in that case, we have to convert into string and then land, and then we need what you call the number of <coughs> the number of persons. So for that, we have to get from the what you call from the list, okay store which is store right you will write it <laughs> so in this case what i am doing telling the user okay this is correct and here i'm giving person right we'll do one more thing here we will give here one more space otherwise it will touch along with that and then also uh, we will ask the we will ask what you call user Along with that, we will we are telling the user that we have uh, the number of lists you, he he or she has added, and then whether he want to send messages or not. So for that, do you want to send message? Okay. <clears throat> now we'll see what reply the user gives us if ask what equals equals positive this means if the customer says yes i i mean if the user says yes i want to send this means if the user presses ok button and then we will create another interface dialog get input okay and the title will be 
message and also we will tell the user type message type or type your message here type your message here it will be fine right okay and then of course we want the result for that a dot dialog get response has been has to be typed and the, we want the result okay and then now if if the result which means if if what we'll call here if what we, what i want to say is that what button has been clicked after asking the user if the user says that if the user cancel sorry negative if the user has pressed on cancel button will do the below things but if he has or he has not cancelled then we are sending an sms okay so in that case we will write send sms okay we have to create this function we will send sms okay here yeah. So I will create later on function. We'll com complete continue with this first of all. So the user has pressed cancel button. Now, since the user has pressed cancel button, when well, I'll just step again here to proper ident identification, we will tell sorry. We'll tell the user that. what will tell message not entered and cancel okay message not entered and cancelled I think there should be two L and then we will close the function okay so for closing we'll create a function here close first of all where is it uh, where is it yeah here i'll create a function close def close okay for the what function will we'll give a for loop for i in number store For i in number store, we will remove everything, whatever is there inside, inside our list, okay? And we will give here time of one second, so that everything is removed, okay? Then will exit the system so now we need time library and system library to call so with that we have to import it here time and sys okay we are done now that we are done we'll go here and see what send sms okay we have to create another function send sms okay we can we'll do it here for sending sms what we will do is that we'll create a function here also sorry 
send SMS. Okay. Oh, we need to we need a value here. Yeah? Yes. We need a value. I'll just give data. The message because I'm giving data because from the data we will uh, get the number because our number is inside data stored in a data so that's why I'm giving a data as parameter and message is the message there's no issue for I don't know why this command there is a lot of problem in my handset for I in See, for i in range okay so here it will be what len of the data okay after that we will send sms send function will call okay we'll call this function and here we will give data which is the number mobile number this is the mobile number from inside the data and of course message okay we are sending the message after sending the message or while it is sending the message we will show an interface to the user create Spinner progress. Okay, we'll we'll show the user an interface, and then we'll tell the please wait. Please wait, and also, sorry, we'll tell the user. Not only wait but also will tell the user that how many num how many list of people are there to send message okay so in that case sending message to of course we have to convert into string and then here will be length length of the number store Okay, and again plus sending message to this this many person. Okay, we are done. Okay, we are telling him, we are telling the user that we are sending message on his behalf and the number of the people. Also, we are informing. Then we have to show the dialog. Okay, to sh to show, we have to type in a dot dialog show. After that, after everything is done, will what will do? Will this one remove the interface? So for that, I'm typing a dot dialog dismiss. Okay. So now coming to the sending of message. Where is it? It should be down somewhere here. Yes. So here, what we will do is that now we will <coughs> the value means which is the number uh, the data. Sorry, number. This is the data and the message will be result value. So this is our message. Here we are sending it. After sending, at last we will close it. Right. So now let's check our this uh, what do you call let's check it 
how how it is i'll just check it now how we have uh, we'll check it whether it works or not i think it should work fine let's check the indentation before that whether properly indentation has been given or not because indentation is otherwise it will show us error here there is a little problem in the indentation here also indent not properly indentation indent indentation was not done properly here also this will be okay for now and here also indentation is not properly done here also okay here also not properly indent here this also should be indent indentation should be done properly otherwise it will show us error okay this also done and this also has to be done and this also should be indentation in indentation should be done see this there is a problem here yeah one more there will be problem here okay i better take it till the end and then one two shit what have i have done okay one two and three yeah this is the right one okay this is okay back and then once indentation indentation yes and here also should be done okay now we are breaking from the loop and then it should be par to the while loop because we are coming out of the loop i better give like this and then indent second time yes this in the same line with the while loop okay it should be same line with the while loop okay this was one more indentation and then this one also sorry yes okay you are asking and then after asking oh yeah this should be here and this should be here and this also should be here okay this one should be not here but here and this should be okay i think we have to go back and do it okay it should be close after that after everything is done it should be close then this we have got okay let's give a play sys dot exit line number 24 identation yeah where is it where is it this one there's a problem here identification tab on arrow button okay now it should not show this sys again again syntax error in line number 29 let's check that as well line number 29 where is it yes here what it says please i given please wait and then okay here
Okay, here there is a problem. So how to solve this? We have got this length and then we can do one thing here. We'll do one thing. And that is we will shit it's very difficult in the handset creating programming but we should have patient being a programmer or developer you need to have a lot of patience because several times your codes will not work and then you have to try to figure out what is wrong so for that you need a lot of patience if you don't have patience you cannot be a programmer, good programmer <clears throat> okay let me just cut it okay and put here since it is creating problem just put here uh, what do you call some text i'll just give okay i'll just give t not to make so much complication t for text and then paste it here paste it i don't need this place wait i need only this thing plus okay and person now I'll up it will say please wait three dot and then comma close then here I'll put T then I'll put this let's see down oh ho, we still have that problem okay we are having problem with the not with the string we have a problem actually with the length of it i think we have been a lot of too many round brackets here too many round brackets is it like that length of this yeah we have given extra bracket here it should be only one bracket never mind i think it should not show problem again okay this has gone up there we have to bring it down we have to bring that also down this one I think now it should not have problem in the same place yes but it's saving some other place problem syntax uh, that is line number 47 okay line number 47 syntax error here as well line number 47 else if the land of the value is smaller than 10 and the land of that as well value is greater than line number 47 okay or land of the rest value is greater than 10 and rest which equals equals positive what is problem here there is no problem here okay i'll just fix it just okay we have actually here problem is greater than one should be right it should be here and should put greater than one okay just play and see okay having the same problem again okay here we have to give another closing bracket now i think it should work it's still not working mm -hmm. okay line number 47 right line number 47 here i found out the problem is with this here here we have to give another round bracket close play on icon and then yes now we don't have that problem but we have 
separate problem here identification in line number 68 line number 68 line number let's go to line number 68 where, where is it 68 here it says that okay we'll do one thing this one and then we'll give ones now let's see whether line number 69 that means just after that this is i don't know from where it came it should work fine now 69 what is that in 69 something is there okay since we have given else we have to give it something here that's what it is saying okay let's give your a dot dts pick right which means uh, what do you call no manual input okay manual input no manual input okay let's give a play yeah now it is done press on yes put here number suppose we put here uh, any digit what it says let's listen it says to enter us a mobile number only right so actually i'm using headphone i don't know whether you hear or not uh, if you don't you should be hearing if you don't use your what do you call your headphone for example for now and type again here some character and say is enter mobile number only yeah it says to enter us a mobile number and suppose we enter some digit please enter 10 digit mobile number yeah it says to enter a 10 digit number suppose we enter more than a 10 digit please enter 10 digit mobile number which means you have to put the mobile number right here so say for example i'll just take an example i don't know whose number is this but i just guess and just put it okay it says because this uh, the number is already added in the list so it comes again this what you call interface when we hit cancel it asks us that it tells us that we have one person in the list and do want to send messages or not if you say yes then we have the interface for entering messages type your message here so if we give if we don't put message not entered and cancelled message not entered and cancelled right but if we put message then it will send a message let's test again one two three four and five one more okay cancel okay yes put high okay yeah close 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 64 okay okay here there is a mistake and or store it should be line number 22 line number 22 there is a problem line number 22 let's go to line number 22 where is it yeah with this it should not be mo but it should be mo let's fix this let's put the number one two three four and five okay cancel send type your message here hi okay Okay, we are done. This time there is no error. Message has been sent. Okay. 
we'll save it by tapping on the folder icon now the second phase that is getting from the list of our contact list. okay for that we'll continue here with else here we have else here and then here we'll continue okay so for that we'll give another while loop here okay for that i'll just use my that okay again yeah just hold here what we should do is that we should enter here and then here we will we'll give a while loop again sorry I'm giving while loop here after getting while loop we'll get the number sorry and oh it should be and then here a dot to display the list of phone number from our handset we have to type in a dot pick phone okay and then you have to get the result okay got the result after getting result we will create an empty what we call empty variable sorry I'm giving an empty variable okay and then we'll split the number separated number okay separated number I just give separated number which means list will separate the number uh, by will array of list of will get into array will split into array for that we have to type in list and the parameter should be the string that we want to separate into array or list array okay so we am doing this now i will give a for loop for i sorry for i in range length of the separated list okay what i will do now here if separated number inside if the value inside is digit okay if it is digit which means if here we are what we are doing we are excluding all the plus usually what happen in the num in the number sometimes when we save the, when someone calls us and save the number in our handset directly the usually there are plus sign and the country code i mean special character spaces all that stops so what we want to do we'll pick up only the digits okay only the digits not any space not any special character not any plus sign okay for that i'm doing this now what I will do is that we'll collect all the digits, we'll get all the digits and set this to the variable mobile number. Sorry. And because we are looping all throughout the uh, after separating, we are looping all, so we will add together, we'll concatenate. So what I will do is that I will, where is it? I'll concatenate all these numbers, right? So for that we have to give plus equals, no, not this, actually it will be separated number, and then I, okay? After that, we have got empty variable, we'll call the empty we it is set to the empty variable and now we will add in our list 
that is f number here now the digits the total digit the number that we get might be more than 10 digit okay in that case what we will do from the finish to the start which in reverse order i will count 10 digits and add in our list mobile number here I'm giving minus 10 okay I'm adding here now after adding now we have to send message right or we can still get a continue adding so we will prompt the user whether he wants to continue adding the number or he wants he want to just discard it so we'll put a question here continue adding numbers we're asking the user whether he or she wants to continue or not okay if you remember earlier we created a, pro, a function ask sorry what okay ask what equals equals negative which means if the user says no i don't want to continue then for that case i'm putting negative if if the user doesn't want to continue then we will also uh, what you sorry if the user says doesn't want to continue then we will prompt the user whether he uh, to enter the message for the number that he he or she has entered okay for the dialog get input okay and the input will be the title will be message of course and we will tell the type please will tell to type the message type your message here okay we are telling the user to type his or her message and then we want the result of that this means we are listening to the user what user has typed uh, or in the message okay for the add or dialog get response okay either the leg get response dot result now after getting the result from the user means after the message has been put or typed in then what we will do is that we will check it we'll put a check here okay if if the result i mean if the button cancel has been pressed in that case negative if the user has been has pressed uh, that cancel button okay then we'll tell the user What we'll tell the user we'll tell the user that message message not entered and cancelled okay so we are doing this we are telling the user that he has not entered the message and he has cancelled then we will close the system okay okay <clears throat> but if the user has pressed send button okay button which means it is sent the sms has been sent then we will call the send sms okay then here we'll put the number in that case 
the store of the number and here is the message in that case the value okay and then we will break from the loop okay here now what this is if in case the user does it want to continue okay but what if the user wants to continue adding more numbers if the user wants to continue then let him continue adding right so that we'll just put continue that's it let's save now because identity identification is very important here sorry this will be this and let's check any error okay else identification problem it is seven line number i knew that it will be else else where is that else it is seven okay here is it that's the bar let's check what it says i think another problem will should be there no okay i'm collect one number i'm selecting no i don't to add okay i'm sending hi okay then the message is being sent okay so we don't have any problem here even then i think i should give like this it will be best okay here we have just want to check last whether sms send okay okay here guys we have forgotten to give here time here we should give some time here for the sms to be sent here i think sms is not being sent because you need to give some time say for example in my case i'll give two seconds you can give more if you want i'm giving two seconds they will be best otherwise you are not getting the spinner as well the spinner is not being displayed i'll just give no in this case i'll give again here hi yeah and this time it is saying sending message okay message has been sent in this case message is being sent guys if you like my video please subscribe it like it and share it because if you subscribe and if you like it then i'll be encouraged to make more videos